out to you guys. Uh, from me to you, I hope you and your family are safe. What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here. So once again, got to give you guys the facts, the updates. As they come to me, I bring them to you. So right now, it was just announced less than an hour ago, <clears throat> the government will be implementing a new curfew for the next 10 days. Now, let me explain what this curfew entails. We just came in contact with somebody that tested positive, so he's doing the responsible thing by staying home and quarantining himself. Same as I did when I found out I had the flu, the pneumonia. Stay at home and just stay to myself. Hold up. Now, as you guys know, I told you guys the state of emergency was asked for and approved. So now, uh, as of Sunday the 18th, the new curfew has been approved. Uh, for the next 25 days, there will be a curfew in effect. Same times, nothing changed from weekdays. What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here with a quick update for you guys. As you've probably heard through the rumor mill, well, it's not a rumor. The new president has asked for another 45 day extension of the state of emergency. Now, what this means at the moment, we really don't know. He is talking about extending the curfew. Uh, what this means for you is that what's been without further ado, there is more information coming out this afternoon, but I figure I'd give you the facts as it is now because a lot of people want to deal with rumors. A lot of people want to listen. No, 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 back up, back up. The little one was aggressive, man. Little one was like, aggressive. Hold on, hold on. He put his toy down, and the kid ran and grabbed it and said, This is his toy. Don't give him another one. <laughs> Shout out to all you guys. We did uh, 152, 153 families as of today. Um... Let's go check it out. Nice one bedroom. Come on in. First. <laughs> show you guys inside DR Cribs man this is a really nice crib DR Cribs I got a special for y'all nice beautiful villa in Casa Linda I had to start from outside because the view was something sick big ass five bedroom villa Just so you know, this is number Welcome to Los Balcones. Los Balcones, nice sitting area in here. Flat screen, little bar area. Hang out. Get you some Johnny Walker, relax. Overlooks the huge living room down there. Check out the master bedroom. Big king size bed. Yo, yo. What's good, friends and family? Friday night lights. I tried not to be late. <laughs> uh, who up in here? Jackson G, the game nation. Dirty workers, what's up? Redskins, we gonna talk about that. We gonna talk about that. A year or two ago, when the St. Louis Blues on the chip, they weren't good, they weren't bad. They were kind of just there. And so you didn't know what to expect. And they won the chip, you know, and, and hockey. What up, Travis? So, I can... so for me, in, by next year, the top tier is gonna go Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, and Russell, and, and in between there somewhere to Prescott, or Prescott will take a long-term deal for less money up front and more, uh, what do you call it, guarantee money and bonus money. Damn. Seven points to me is, they're both kind of crappy teams. I've got to I've gotta pick somebody, I'm going to go with Phoenix. Phoenix, over under is 224. I would say under. I might 
might throw a, a, a bunch of parties back to back to back. Like we just may do, we just may do a bunch of parties. What's good, friends and family, and happy 2021. Hopefully you guys had a safe and happy new year, and we can hope that 2021 will be prosperous and better than the last year. So shout to Pinnacle Images, my man G, for doing that dope 2020 year review video. Just the basic stuff that we did over 2020 when it came to the food drive, the toy drive, and things I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Even though we're in crazy times, I still try to make the best of it, as I hope you do. Now. If you want to donate to the toy drive, this year's toy drive, hit the pinned comments. Uh, you will see the cash app if you want to donate, even if it's only $5, it really doesn't matter. Every dollar counts, every toy counts. Uh, shout to everybody that has donated. Appreciate you guys. We're going shopping one more time on Monday, and then we're going out giving the kids all the toys in the local areas. Try to bless a few kids and put them a few smiles on faces. That's what we do. Now, also in the pinned comments will be the information for Super Bowl. Hit me up if you're trying to uh, sign up. A lot of spots are going fast. It's going to be a crazy time. As I said before, Halloween, we were at a 5 p.m. curfew, and none of you guys even noticed who was around. We're going to keep it going for Super Bowl. Trust when I tell you. So check that pinned comment. Hit me up for Super Bowl information. Now, right now, this video is about the major events that happened in 2020 that I felt were important that shaped everything that we went through. Because as we know, 2020 was a crazy year. So let's get into it. <laughs> so 2020 started with a bang january 2nd two days into 2020 brush fires destroyed millions of acres of land in australia one day after the new year we have all this stuff starting already now one of the major events for 2020 and one thing that i really felt where everything just started going downhill which was right before the world shut down for covid was the death of Kobe Bryant and his daughter on January 26 in a helicopter crash. That to me, I tell everyone, was the downfall of the year. During his death, when he died and the days following, a lot of people were just sad. It was like a, a, a dim cloud over the world. I know I felt it. I don't know if you guys felt it. But it seemed to me that once Kobe passed away, the world just went downhill. So January 26th to me was a really major event because once that happened and Kobe passed away, the great legendary basketball player he was, it just seemed everything went left. Now, not to be outdone, January 31st, the UK officially separated from the European Union, making Brexit a reality. That was kind of crazy, but it was years in the making and it finally happened. February 18th, the Boy Scouts filed for bankruptcy. That's crazy. Now, at the end of February and the beginning of March is when COVID started to wreak havoc on the world, shutting down businesses, basically putting the world to a complete stop. That's when we started the real decline in 2020. Now, sports came to a standstill just like the rest of the world. March 11th, the NBA shut down due to COVID. It's kind of crazy. We really had absolutely no sports for months. It was one of them things I was going crazy because sports actually keeps me sane every now and then. March 20th. Now, March 20th, save the date. Remember the date. March 20th, 2020, Netflix released The Tiger King. 
this actually kept a lot of us, a lot of us mentally away from what was going on in the pandemic and the lockdowns that were happening. And it was kind of entertaining. So shout to Joe Exotic and Carol Mother Effin Baskins. So yes, on that date, uh, March 20th, Tiger King was released and it was pretty dope and kept us kind of entertained even though everything was going around us in the world. March 24th, the Tokyo Olympics was canceled as all sporting events were. So the Tokyo Olympics got canceled and rescheduled for a further date. Now, not to be outdone, May 4th, the murder hornets pulled up. They came through, I don't know what happened to them, but they pulled up and the world was like, wait a minute, Kobe, COVID, murder hornets, what's next? <laughs> now, on a serious note, May 25th, George Floyd was killed by Minneapolis police officers. Um, this led to worldwide protests, rioting and looting, but led to protests about police reform. So that was a very, very major event in 2020. <laughs> now in July, sports made a small comeback. NBA came back in a bubble and Major League Baseball came back as well, as well as hockey. But LA kind of did a sweep. The Lakers won the NBA championship and the Los Angeles Dodgers won the World Series. Shout to LA on that one. Now all the craziness of the presidential election, which is still going on now, started November 4th and we're still going through it. Biden was basically elected and we have yet to see what's gonna happen with Trump. Stay tuned on that one. I don't get into politics. December 18th, vaccines started going out around the world as a new strain and more lockdown started. Stay tuned for that. We still have yet to see what's going on with this vaccine. A lot of different opinions, but I'm just giving you the facts. Vaccines are going out around the world in the first stages. We'll see what happens. As crazy as 2020 has been, there's so many changes to our way of life, so many events that shaped and molded this year that have scarred us, that have molded us, that have built us and made us stronger or weaker. Just keep your mind strong and remember, things get better. So let's look forward to 2021 being a brighter and better year. Shout to all you guys, appreciate the love, hit that like button, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. Appreciate the love in 2020. 2019, 2018. As we go into 2021, I'm going to bring you more and more content and appreciate the love you guys show. Much love from me to you. Flip flop and I'm out. So if you didn't know, this is why I live in the Dominican Republic. The beauty, surrounded by the ocean, you know, a couple yachts out there, you know, it's just beautiful out here. Don't be twisted. I'm not saying my life is living yours. My life is looking pretty good. It's pretty damn good, ain't it? <laughs>